Hi everybody! So we're here to do a lovely before and after. She's already beautiful, but on Hannah, we're just going to show you a fun look. So she wants to try a red lip and... So we put on um, the L'Oreal Magic Skin BB Cream. We put that all over and now we're just going to put some True Match Lumi Healthy and I don't know what color, natural buff. And we're just going to put the foundation on. Her skin is already amazing. So we're going to use the Sonia Kashuk, just this little hidden agenda concealer palette, which I got it at Target. And close your eyes for me. We're just going to do the eyelids because you really want to conceal it to prepare for um, the shadow that you're going to put on. You don't want any red or purple poking through. And if you have any blemishes or anything, you can go ahead and conceal those, but she doesn't really. So we're just going to go around the nostrils because that area typically gets red. And then we're going to do the chin because that... We're just going to take some loose powder. This is just a medium um, mineralized foundation powder from MAC. And I'm just going to kind of put this under the eyes in case any of our eyeshadow falls out. We're going to go over the eyelid. We're just putting this on to kind of cancel out shine and set the foundation. We don't want to kind of cake it on. I'm just going to take this Urban Decay Eye Pencil in Gold Mine and I'm just going to use this as a base. Draw this all over the, the lower part of the eyelid and it's just going to give good sticking powder to our eyeshadow. Okay, so now that we have this item, I'm just going to take this color. It's the Infallible Eyeshadow. It's just a really gold frosty color. It's Eternal Sunshine from L'Oreal. Pat this right down on top of the pencil that we just put. It's just going to give an added pigmentation and color to the look. Then I kind of love this color. It's called Diamond Lust from Revlon in Celestial Silver. Look how glittery and sparkly that is. So kind of the mix of the cool of the silver and the gold is just going to be really pretty on her eye color. So I'm just going to press this down from the inner corner. And it kind of just tones down the gold so it's not too gold and just makes it a little more kind of platinum-y, which is really pretty. And the sparkles are just going to be really beautiful. <laughs> Then I'm going to take this Dazzle Light color from MAC, or you could take Naked Lunch, or any kind of really light, frosty nude color, and I'm going to put it right underneath the eyebrow right there, just for a little bit, a little bit more highlight. And then I'm going to take Brulee, which is just another good all-over nude color, or you could even use a face powder, and I'm just going to kind of blend that all over right there. This is Roach. You could take just a brown eyeliner. This has a little bit of shimmer from Urban Decay. And I'm just going to put this on the outer corner and we're just going to kind of smudge it into the lash line. And I'm going to take one of my other like all-time favorite colors from MAC. This is Satin Taupe. And I'm just going to press it right on top and just kind of smudge it out. So we just kind of, we just want a little added depth and dimension without it looking like a really harsh liner. We just want the eye to look really open and sparkly. Now you can take any black eyeliner. I'm just using Perversion from MAC. Look up for me. And this is her not favorite part, is lining the eye. So I'm just going to try to pull the lid away from the eyeball so it's not so bothersome to her. And we're done. <laughs> it was fast. <laughs> See, I'm trying to be faster and faster for you. <laughs> OK, then we're just going to take any black eyeshadow. This is just from the Sonia Kashuk palette and an angled brush. And then look up for me, and again, I'm going to pull the eyelid away from the eyeball so it doesn't get into her eye or bother her, make her eyes water even more. And just press it down into where, where the lashes come out. Then you could also use satin taupe, or I'm going to use woodwinked. It's a little bit more gold. Look up for me, and I'm just going to put it right at the lash line. It's just going to kind of soften that color up a little bit. And just for fun, I'm also going to go over it with satin taupe, which will add a little bit more dimension to the color and just make her eyes pop a little more. We're going to curl her lashes. I'll just give you, we're going to curl at the base. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to apply her mascara. We will be right back. We're going to put my favorite lashes of all time. It's the Ardell Natural Demi Wispies in black. We're just going to put this strip on. It looks natural and it's beautiful and they're my all time favorite fake lashes. Okay, then I'm just going to take this Too Faced blush in Perfect Flush Blush. And I'm just going to kind of use this as our blush and highlighter. We're just going to kind of sweep it like that. Isn't it adorable? Okay, then I'm going to take this Photo Ready, um, the Revlon Photo Ready bronzer. And I'm just going to add a little bit of contouring right there. Just a little light contouring to add a little extra dimension if this is for prom. If it's not, you don't have to add these extra steps, but it'll just make it look a little extra fancy. Now we're going to do the fun part. So Hannah's <laughs> going to try a red lip for the first time because she really wants to. And we're going to use my favorite red lip liner of all time is Cherry Lip Liner from MAC. And then I'm going to have you go like this. 
And we're just going to go on the edges and then slightly fill it in because it's going to kind of stain the lips and give it more of a long lasting red color. I'm gonna fill it in with this Revlon Color Stay Ultimate Suede in Trendsetter. So here is the beautiful finale on our gorgeous. She was already so pretty before, but this is just her first time trying a red lip, and this red lip liner goes perfect on everybody. That cherry lip liner is my favorite. Whether you're super fair with blue eyes or you have darker skin and dark eyes, it looks beautiful and perfect on everybody. So this is a really bare eye and just kind of lets the red mouth pop out but the lashes kind of look beautiful. And um, I just think you look gorgeous. Thank you for she looked, me gorgeous. Oh, you were so gorgeous before. I just like decorated it's like a new way of looking at your face really. <laughs> Make sure you can go check on my blog. I'll put the link below so you can see more before and after pictures. And below the video, I will put everything that I use. So links if you want to see everything that we used in this video. So huge hugs from me and Hannah. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.